Good afternoon and welcome to today's session, which is an introduction to your ProQuest resources for NOAA Central Library. Uh, my name is Wendell Butler and I'm a training and consulting partner at ProQuest and it is basically my job to answer your questions about subscription databases to make sure that you know how to search them to uh, feel comfortable in the content that is available in our resources. So um, again, I'm Wendell and we'll be looking at all of your subscription databases that are available through ProQuest. First of all, I'd just like to do a quick review of what is ProQuest and, and how we work. So ProQuest is an information technology company and we curate and distribute uh, databases for academic research and for government research. We distribute the government information systems uh, as well as a number of um, uh, academic databases that support research in libraries around the world. Uh, our goal is to make research to curate our information so that researchers can easily find the most relevant information quickly. And we also provide you with really unique sources, not just magazine and newspaper articles, but ebooks and dissertations and trade journals and scholarly journals, as well as things like conference proceedings. All of this is overseen by our editorial staff, again, who make sure that the most valuable information is presented first. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about how you can access these uh, resources at your library on the screen or from your library. On the screen, you're seeing the URL for NOAA Central Library, and that's simply HTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash library.noaa.gov forward slash. And at that link, you'll want to visit the research tools and that allows you an ability to select databases and you can then do a search to find your ProQuest databases. And the call outs that you're seeing on screen indicates the process. So you can do a search uh, on uh, ProQuest for databases, you'll get results for four different resources, which include the Aquatic Science and Fisheries Abstract. Uh, eBook Central uh, is your eBook collection, but we're not talking about that one today. You're also getting the the Meteorological and Geoastrophysical Abstracts and ProQuest Congressional. So that's what we'll concentrate on those three days, uh, and not the eBook Central. So to give you a little deeper understanding of what these resources are, the, the Aquatic Sciences Database, which is uh, abstracts, along with the meteorological and geoastrophysical abstracts can be searched under one form um, or under one collection, it is our Earth Atmospheric and Aquatic Science Collection. And the Aquatic Sciences Collection is extensive coverage of literature on science and technology management and conservation of marine, brackish water, and freshwater resources. It also covers in the environment, of course. And these articles and documents are inclusive of socioeconomic and legal aspects. And you can find uh, that this is one of the most used resources by aquatic science library librarians. Uh, it has more than 500 serials and there's an international network uh, of librarians and professional educators who manage this collection of books and reports and conference proceedings and they translate and uh, manage the limited distribution of literature uh, that is uh, surrounding the aquatic sciences database. And the meteorological and gastro uh, geoastrophysical abstract contains records that are drawn from liter literature on meteorology, climatology, atmospheric chemistry and physics, and the content in both of these databases will date back to approximately 1974 through the present. And that's a, a, a description of what you'll have available uh, uh, on, on this page, I'm showing you the link or the URL for to access these through the ProQuest platform. Now, I've shown you how to go in through um, your library site, but you can also use the URL that you're seeing at the bottom of the screen to get to this page that houses your subscription 
and free databases. And the reason that I included the free databases here is because, because of coronavirus, we are making our coronavirus research database free to all institutions who have some type of subscription with us. So you can search that uh, indefinitely for free. And we also have a new uh, collection of open access articles that are available under the publicly available content database. So that's why you're seeing more content than uh, you may be familiar with at your library. But by using the 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 search um, dot proquest dot com, you can get to page and you can create shortcuts to these particular databases if these are the ones that you might use most by signing in and creating a ProQuest account you can um, create a shortcut so that each time you log into your ProQuest account you can uh, go directly to the resource that is most beneficial to you okay so you also have the congressional databases so I want to talk a little bit free subscribe you have from congressional and those are our congressional publications legislative insight and regulatory insight and these are available on our uh, proquest congressional platform um, in the top right corner of the page you're seeing a drop down that would allow you to select any of these databases and search them independently and looking at the search form for our legislative and executive uh, branch publications. You can search all of the congressional it's the full text of bills and laws, uh, bill tracking reports, and legislative histories. And when doing these searches for these articles, which includes the title and any details or indexing information, along with bibliographic information that's provided for the publication. Uh, in this uh, particular search environment, this basic search environment, there is a type ahead feature. You began to type uh, a subject or a term that you're interested in, and you will be presented with terms that are used in our subject index. So these are not searches that other people have or or that have been held by cookies, but these searches that will be presented uh, in the type of head feature are controlled by our uh, thesaurus. And there is also an advanced search feature, of course, that will allow you to search specific meta metadata, including the, the document title, author, and the, the source information. And you can search these uh, collections by, or uh, this collection by numbers as well. Uh, the legislative insight is the federal legislative history service that makes compilations of digital full text publications that have been created by Congress during the process leading up to the enactment of U.S. public laws. And this might include uh, legislative histories uh, or bills and reports, documents, uh, hearing CRS reports, committee prints, and congressional records sections. Uh, the legislative it includes only documents that are related to the passage of a law. And then finally, the, the regulatory insight, once a law has been passed, what happens then? So the legislative insight and regulatory insight work hand in hand with each other. Regulatory insight takes you to the next stage. It provides researchers with workflow solutions to help facilitate your research and uh, it's, it's for tasks that are associated with it with administrative law. So uh, search all of these in this environment. You do have to select them from the drop down menu to search uh, them independently. And this is what the results page looks like. From the results page, you are able to uh, search by date or you can choose a congressional session to search and you can also choose the content type that you'd like to to uh, pull to the forefront. So in the left, left sidebar here, we're seeing that you can access hearings and House and Senate document reports and bills and laws. So you're getting a numeric count of all of those uh, items. You can filter your list by simply clicking on the content type and bringing that to the top of your results list. And I'm gonna share with you a link to our library guides, uh, which will give you more information on these products, on our congressional products. Uh, there are um, 
recorded trainings that you can access, as well as uh, other product information content that you can get to. So this is a, a quick screenshot of the, the library guide. Navigate to the guide for legislative insight as well as regulatory insight. But once you get to those guides, you'll find uh, a wealth of information and links to related information. But go to the product education tab to find those recorded trainings and other information you'll need to navigate the congressional platform. This is a complete list of all of the resources for these three resources. I will share this presentation so uh, that you can um, have access to these URLs. But again, if you visit the URL that I've shared in the chat, you'll be able to navigate to the specific guides for these products. Let's move on and talk a little bit more about the, the other resources that you have. So again, I noted that the, the databases that you have, the indexes that you have are part of a larger collection. And by going to that collection, and this is pulled from your particular instance of ProQuest. So in the center of the page, it shows you that the aquatic science and fisheries abstracts are included in your search, as well as earth, atmospheric, and aquatic sciences database. And the, uh, actually that's just the interface, but uh, the content that is uh, included is the meteorologic, meteorological and geoastrophysical abstract. So it's showing you what's included and to the left, you're seeing the subject coverage. So uh, everything from aquaculture to fish and fisheries. So you can click on any one of those uh, uh, database titles to pull up a unique search environment where you're only searching the uh, the database that you've selected. And I just uh, run a quick search on something like climate change, and I ran it as a phrase uh, with quotations around climate change. We see we get more than 409,000 results. And um, it's just a quick screenshot of the results list. Running the same search without uh, the quotations, just putting in climate change as keywords. We see we get a larger amount of results, but in the left sidebar is where you use your facets to, to navigate to the content that you really need. You can sort your, your articles and documents by, by date, and you can sort them by source type. And based upon the number of results, uh, the source types that have the, the number, the, the highest number of results will come to the top of that list. But you'll note the more option that will allow you to look at additional source types. And then you can even filter your results by publication date. If you only need content within the last 12 months or the last five years, you can quickly filter and uh, pull a results list that is more manageable than 690,000 articles. So in the center of the page, we're seeing the, the collection of articles. You see the title of the article along with um, the, the uh, date of publication, and you're seeing the link to allow you to look at the abstract and the indexing details for you, as well as the full text when it is available. The great thing about the ProQuest platform is that uh, we provide the abstract, the indexing and details all on one page. So every article stands alone and it has uh, different versions, uh, the plain text, the PDF and the, the indexing or details are all on one page. And the right sidebar of this page is reserved for our videos and book content. So there will be videos that are available uh, and uh, using this in conjunction with your ebook central collection, you will be able to pull some ebooks on your topic uh, to the forefront as well. Going on to the next screen here, this is how you can look at additional source types. So if you're not looking for scholarly journals or book content, there are lots of additional source type options that you can find by clicking on that more option. And here we're seeing that we can pull in wire feeds and working papers. That's great. That's a great resource for the ProQuest platform. We have access to uh, some working papers before they are actually published in in a journal or a journal or trade journal. We also have access to conference proceedings 
papers that have recently been published as well as reports. So use the more option to get to even more resources to, to uh, further your research and study of a topic. When using our advanced search features, uh, all of the callouts on this page show that there's something that you can control. Uh, in our advanced search, you can add a row. So notice the first uh, arrow there. You can add up to seven different rows to be really specific about the, the phrases and keywords and subject headings that you enter into your query. There are some search tips that are available on the advanced search page. And you can also do a command line search, which is uh, uh, a search that is primarily used by librarians using search syntax, such as SU for subject or TI for title. So if you need more information on all of that, you can on our advanced search page under under uh, search tips and field codes. Field codes will those, those uh, codes that you use to do a command line search. And then of course you can go to any recent searches that you've done within the database. To the right sidebar, there's a drop down that allows you to decide where you'd like to find your word within uh, the article. Do you want to search anywhere within the document? The index, uh, the abstract and index, the full text, the, the title field. So all of those are options in that drop down. And Using this advanced search uh, form, you can also tell the search engine what types of sources you're looking for. If you're looking for a specific type of document, you can define that before submitting your query. And there's also just different languages. I think we're up to about 25 different languages to, to search for content. Of course, uh, there is a translation feature. Once you get into a full text article, you can translate into these languages as well. Looking at an article details page and the call out here is showing you again that we allow you access to the full text article, the full text, uh, or in this case, you see the abstract there. Uh, at the top of the page, but the full text will be at the bottom of the page. And then you'll have another page that will allow you to look at the deep indexing and abstract and details. So we index 25 fields for every article. So it helps to make all of these, this content really discoverable. Uh, at the top right are your tools that will allow you to download any article as a PDF. You can cite these articles, uh, generating citations in any citation format that that you may use APA to Arabian uh, MLA you can email you can um, grab the link to an article and share you can print and there are other options there are options for for sharing these uh, these articles via other social media platforms under the uh, the little icon there for a person, that's where you would create your personal ProQuest account that allows you to save your favorite databases to, to, uh, to uh, also just come back, to be able to come back to the research point where you last left off. So it is, uh, I, would, I would suggest that if you have the opportunity to create your own personal um, uh, ProQuest account to do that and sign in each time that you use it. And the bookshelf there is is uh, applicable to our our book collection. So, when you're using the books, and you'll get training on that later, you can create a bookshelf and hold the items that you've worked with recently. Moving on, uh, you can do a publication search on the ProQuest platforms. So these are the publications that are available to you in the Earth, Atmospheric, and Aquatic Science collection. So, so again, that's your your uh, two databases outside of the outside of the congressional databases, and you have more than twenty nine thousand publications. And you can just click scholarly journal there and pull up all of the scholarly journals. Or from the left sidebar, you can click on newspaper, and you can have a a, a listing of just the newspapers. You'll see the dates of coverage next to or directly below the title of your source. It shows you that for this particular source, uh, the dates of coverage were from 2013, but of course we, 
we have content here that will date back to 1974 up through the present. And you can choose to search just within a publication. So if you have a favorite publication, uh, once you get to this page, you can choose you can follow the links and choose to to search just within this publication and this screenshot will show you an example of how you can do that. So looking at the source Pacific science, you'll see the dates of coverage at the top of the page there. This one is uh, providing content back to 1998, but it's delayed by one year and that's all uh, within the rights that we we have to secure from the publishing partner. So they have an embargo on this particular title. Notice our option to search within this publication and at the bottom of the page, you're seeing the results uh, for the most recent publication. Well, that that I'm not sure the publication period, but it's showing that the latest available was from January of 2020. And uh, we can go to every article. Uh, we can quickly go to to the articles from that particular issue. In the top right corner, you see the ability to grab the URL for this publication to create an alert so that you know when there are new articles or when the new uh, version is available. And you can even create an RSS feed to um, have a message uh, sent to you and a link to the most recent articles for your favorite publications. So if you need additional information on these products, uh, the uh, databases that we were just talking about, our two that are specific to to uh, the sciences, um, that's the URL there for aquatic sciences, abstracts, and for the second database, you're seeing the URL there as well. And I'm going to um, follow the link out to this library guide. And when using these guides, and I'll share this link in the chat as well, uh, but when use this guide, remember you want to um, uh, navigate to, well, this is a specific guide, but uh, if you, the, the library, you can click on the, the link here uh, on this library guide and it allows you to log into the, the product directly. So now I am at the, the search environment for the uh, aquatic sciences and fish abstracts. And from this page, I can, I can uh, do a basic search. Uh, it shows me all of the included databases. Uh, and this might not be exact to your library since I'm I, I clicked on it from from my personal account, so it's showing a little bit more than than you may have access to. But just to show you a little bit of uh, the live environment for the ProQuest platform. So here is where I showed you that you could add rows, but I want to show you the the options you have for searching this content. So you can search anywhere within the record. You can choose to search just the abstract author. And there are even more options at the bottom of this page to allow you to be really, really specific about what you retrieve in your in your results and and uh, that you're getting the information that is most beneficial for you. So I'm going to do a quick search here for you, and we'll be wrapping up. Notice type ahead, and remember I said that this is upon a controlled vocabulary, uh, a list of controlled subject headings that are specific to this database. So I'll go ahead and do that search on protection and endangered species. I have 12,000 results there, and I'm just pointing out again the facets in the left sidebar that will allow you to quickly pull up your scholarly journals. So most of the content here is from a scholarly journal. There's 11,000 articles. I can grab, uh, it shows me that, you know, citations and abstracts are available. I can show the abstract there and I get subject information. It shows me which uh, database this is found in. And of course that is just a, a summary. 
Oh, I'm sorry that that wasn't showing. I apologize that when I switched screens and I did this search, uh, it it wasn't showing. But I, there's my search results for protection and endangered species. And what I was pointing out is that you can click on the the more option there, and this is where you can find uh, additional content when when available. I'm just going to close that out. And I'll go back to the advanced search uh, screen in case you missed some of the content that I was talking about here. Uh, and I had gone to the to the drop down here for uh, the for the uh, syntax to show search engine where you'd like to search. You can search anywhere. Uh, you can search author, document, and other options there. And at the bottom of the page, I explain that you can select your source type, your document type, or language before submitting the query. So stepping back to the basic search page for uh, ASFA and just showing you that uh, I could click on the, uh, when you see the link for included databases, you can click there and open up a page that is specific to, to the resource that you're working with. Okay, what questions do we have regarding uh, our ProQuest Congressional or the Aquatic Sciences and Fisheries Abstract or your Meteorological and gastro, uh, Geo Astrophysical Abstracts? Okay, I'm not finding any questions and I'll stop the recording at this point.